at this hour. Now, investigators tell us it looks like this was just a tragic accident. We first told you what happened as breaking news live at 5. Now, eyewitnesses are telling us more about what they saw. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us from outside Hasbro Children's Hospital in Providence, where the boy is being treated with tonight's top local story. Mike and Karen, the boy is not being identified by police tonight, but he was rushed here earlier this afternoon to Hasbro Children's Hospital with severe injuries to both his head and legs. And eyewitnesses tell us this boy was riding out into traffic. He wasn't paying attention. And this all happened. As the 15-year-old boy rode his bike down Hinsdale Street onto Bark Street, he crossed the path of this Buick driven by Grace Santos. What I saw, he was coming across. He didn't look both ways, and a car, that car right over there with the window smashed in, she hit him. He flipped off his bike. The impact sent the teen onto the hood of the car and into the windshield. He landed on the pavement. This bus filled with children traveling in the opposite direction then ran over his legs. I came running out, saw the kid laying there, went back in the house, grabbed a towel, put it on him, and then people were just frantic. As the teen lay in the street with severe head and leg wounds, nurse Kim Royds, who lives nearby, tried to stop the bleeding. I had his leg um, just putting pressure on his artery, so you know I didn't, I didn't know really what to do. Police say the boy was wearing headphones as he shot out into traffic, giving the drivers little time to react. It appears to be a situation where they couldn't stop in time. The accident has stunned neighbors who are pulling for the teen who often helped out around the neighborhood. He came up this summer to help his father do some work for us around the yard. He's a nice kid. He is. He's a very, very nice, nice boy. It's just an accident. Now, the elderly driver of the car was also taken to the hospital. She was mainly shaken up, and none of the children on that school bus also involved in this accident were hurt. We're live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight. I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.